Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's gonna be reviewing a Chevy Trail Boss that is quite possibly the best pickup truck you could buy. Before we get into this video, I wanna give a huge shout out and thank you to the Larry Miller Chevy here in Murray for giving me some time with this truck. I'll include a link to their website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. If you have any questions, just ask for Nick. And then on a side note, if you're gonna save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Under the hood, we have the three liter Duramax diesel that goes through a 10 speed automatic transmission. Fuel economy is 21 around town and then 23 on the highway with power outputs being 305 horsepower and then 495 pound feet of torque. Now, before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So because this is a trail boss, it has the cool hood bulge there in the center with the Duramax badge on either side. And this one's finished in slate gray, which has been a very popular color for 24 because it just looks great on every truck. Now this is a custom trail boss, so it's more baseline. You can see there with the kind of look at the grill, but you still get the cool red recovery points there. You still get some skid plate protection underneath. But yeah, all together for a more baseline truck, it looks great. And again, it's got the diesel. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 275, 65, 18 in the front and over in the rear. So we've got a reasonably sized wheel, all blacked out, and then all-terrain tires with the Trail Boss. So this thing is all ready to go down country dirt roads and all of that. Two-inch suspension lift with the Trail Boss package from the factory. And then you guys can see the Z71 badge here. And then notice this is stuff that uh, might not look the prettiest, but durable. Same thing here with the door handles as well. And then being a 1500, we do still have the leaf springs and then you got Rancho shocks. Here's your side profile with the truck. And this is where you guys will notice that it has the longer bed. That's the next cool thing about this truck. But before we get into that longer bed, you guys can see we've got our unlock function, we've got our lock function, and then you also have the tailgate drop down as well as remote start. Now this truck is missing bed liner, but that is something that's very easy to add in after the fact. But we do have the outlet here. We've got LED lights as well. This one has the multi-flex tailgate. So that's a nice bit of practicality. But yeah, six and a half foot box. So not only is this an off-roader, but it can also haul quite a bit of stuff. And then this is pretty dang light to lift up. And then you guys can see with the rest of the badges, you got the more baseline taillights. And then you have the bumper steps with this still. Nice painted bumper, by the way. But anyways, putting it all together, let me know you guys think, but I think that how this is packaged out so far, it's looking pretty appealing. Now popping inside being a more baseline truck, you can see that it's basically just work truck with the surfaces and then you've got cloth seats with this and then you can see the flat loading floor, pretty big space. And yeah, this would be a great family car as well. You can see tons of leg room here in the back, little storage pocket, got some USBs down below and then headroom, it's great. Now take a look at the front door panel. You guys can see again with the material use and then we've got all of our window controls. Front one is automatic. Got your mirror adjustments. And then there's a quick look at the mirror. It's got a little convex mirror too. And when it comes to capabilities, this thing's pretty solid. 1,614 pounds of payload capacity. And then towing capacity on this is 9,000 pounds. And then here's the front seat. Again with all the cloth trim, all your adjustments on the side. Your parking brake right here with your light control. You can see the drive line select. Uh, this does have a two speed transfer case, which is cool. You got tow haul mode as well. Now take a look at the steering wheel. Again, more on the base side of things. Basically all you have is the cruise control on it. And then you can see your windshield wiper stock, turn signal stock, and then column shifter. And yeah, it's got column shifter. Got this mostly analog gauge cluster here, which you can use this little dial to shift through the different bits of info on it, but simplistic. We've got a backup camera with trajectory lines. I turn with the steering wheel and solid resolution overall. And then, yeah, not a big screen here in the center, just a reasonably sized infotainment screen. It is a touch screen. Uh, responds quickly, has Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then you can see we've got physical buttons down below for like the climate, for example. And then notice this comes with lane departure, your auto stop start, tailgate drop down, stability control, hill descent control. And then you got some more outlets here. Trailer brake controls integrated from the factory. Got the double glove box here. And then, you know, plastic across the dash, but easy to clean, durable as well. And then you got the bench seat with this one. So this one flips up to be a seat uh, and then no center for anything like that. And the rear glass is fixed. 
So there's quite a big glare, so it's gonna be hard to see, but this is a custom trail boss. Uh, 52K is the base MSRP. The Duramax is a 2,500, almost $2,600 option. After all options, 57,405 is the total MSRP on this trail boss custom. Let's take it out and drive it and talk about how cool this truck is. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off here. Here's your visibility of the hood, both the mirrors, the thrust rear. Don't think I mentioned, but we do have power seats with this too. So, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's, it's a more basic truck, but it also has, I would say, the amenities that are nice to have, like a power seat. Like climate controls as well. And so, yeah, with that being said, let's set off and see how this drives. I'm really excited with this review. It's funny, all the other car reviewers are like, I'm so excited to review a Ferrari. And I'm like, I'm so excited to review this entry level pickup truck with a long bed. Like this is what pickup trucks used to all be, like literally this is what used, pickup trucks used to be about. Capable, you know, basic, more affordable, diesel. Oh man, this thing feels like a rocket ship. Such a smooth powertrain. Calm down there, Honda. Yeah, good ride quality too. Love the diesel sounds. Love the diesel sounds. It's really cool actually. Suspension's comfortable on the Trail Boss too. It's, it doesn't have the same level of damping that uh, let's say the, you know, ZR2 has, for example, but it's still pretty dang comfortable overall. Still pretty dang comfortable. And the diesel's just torque for eons, is what we'll say now. Not for years, for eons. Yeah, I think this drives really well. And the seats are, you know, one thing to say is the seats are firmer. It's kind of more of that like park bench type seat, but again, it's more basic work truck. So it's kind of what you expect with it. I mean, overall it drives well and the long bed isn't weird. It's not like, oh man, this truck's enormous and it's, it's easy to maneuver. And I will say the hood bulge does get in the way a little bit, but it's not too crazy. So, summing things up here with this Trail Boss Custom with the longer bed. This is what pickup trucks should be, in my opinion, right? I, I understand people are gonna say $50,000, $57,000. Yeah, I get it, that's a lot of money, but you know, the, the market has shifted a little bit, so there is more wheeling and dealing. We'll just leave it at that. So, you know, who knows if this would even go for the $57,000 MSRP. Um, but the other thing is, I mean, compared to like most modern pickup trucks, like what, they're 70, 80, $90,000. So being under $60,000, yeah, it's, it's, it's more on the reasonable side of things. But yeah, I think that more manufacturers should build stuff like this. And I, let me know, let me know if I'm wrong, but like, I think this is the pickup truck that most people want. They want the bigger bed, so they've got plenty of space. They want, you know, they don't need a Raptor in terms of off-road capability, but they want some, like what this provides. It has the G80 rear locking differential, so it can, it can get out of, you know, some tougher situations. And then they don't care about, you know, all the bells and whistles. Like this is everything, like for me personally, like this is, this is more than enough. I mean, this is too much, like lane departure, auto stop start, I don't care about that. Um, trying to see if there's anything else that I would just delete from this truck if I could. I'll go for crank window. No, I actually like power windows quite a bit, to be honest. Um, it's got a backup camera. Yeah, I mean, that, that's it. I, I, like some of the safety tech, I don't really care for, but let me know what you guys think about this truck, but I think this is uh, the holy grail of pickup trucks in today. Like this used to be just what a pickup truck was, but in today's world where everything is super luxurious and $80,000, this is, well, Basic, but it's now the holy grail of pickup trucks. Let me know what you think.